Behind a tall fence in this Larimer County field sits 400 acres of government property, an area not too many people know about. So there's no big underground city here that I know of that I can talk about. Here at this facility, you'll find an answer to one of life's great questions. Our primary mission is the dissemination of the standard time interval. In other words, at the tone, 23 hours, they tell you what time it is. Coordinated universal time. Right down to the second. This is the National Institute of Standards and Technology's radio station. Matthew Deutsch is its chief engineer. 5 megahertz pure radio frequency is a 60 kilohertz carrier. A phase shift. The station uses a lot of technology. The waveguide, the ductwork, the ionosphere, a dummy load. To broadcast time across the world. We uh, amplify it and send it to an antenna transmit it to the clocks. If you have an atomic clock, this is where it figures out what time it really is. The FAA, stock exchanges, even 911 centers use this information too. It's coming from this room here. And the signal is impressive. Clocks in every state get their signal from the towers in this field just outside of Fort Collins. And our shortwave signal has reached the South Pole and South Africa also. This Sunday, this machinery will tell your clock to spring forward. And we used to come in here on the weekend on a Saturday afternoon and we would move this switch to this position to let the clocks know that it was time to switch to daylight saving time. And thanks to new technology, Deutsch can sleep in. Now it's all automated, programmed in. Little did you know, Father Time is a local. I have heard from some physicists that time itself may not exist, and I'd hate to find out my career was based on a sham. Yeah, we'd hate to find that out, too. Now, of course, if you have a non-atomic clock, you know, one of those regular ones, you're on your own when it comes to resetting it, but you can get some help. If you have a shortwave radio, you can find WWV, which is the radio station. They announce the time every minute. You can also call in. It's a local number. We'll have that number up for you under this story on 9news.com. But you were saying earlier there's something very special about June 30th of every year. That's right. We are going to get a leap second. A leap second means the clocks will stop at 6 o'clock for one second. And those engineers are actually going to be there. Turn off the clock for a second. Turn a it back on. Now, is that every year or is it every it's four not every years? Year. It's, every it's, year? it's actually just depends on uh, the International Time Bureau looks at the, the way the stars move. This is the way that was <laughs> described to me. The way the stars move, the way the sun moves, and they make that determination based on it. But right now, we are about a half a second behind where we oh, should okay, be. Then. So it'll get us forward to a half a second ahead, and then that'll slowly lose that much time. June, time. June what? June 30th. June 30th. June 30th. Get that one second. Here. You better enjoy that one extra second. Yeah. Don't take that for granted. I won't. <laughs>